All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch gloves, and we are underway. on brawl DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's gonna take that one shot that finishes the fight. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, single collar tie here. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Double leg, and potentially a critical takedown here. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Ooh, what a punch. Big body kick land. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Look at the turtle in that kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. That elbow got to the target very quick in that punch. Nice counter right hand lands for him. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off. DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Alright, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at how he drives his team. Right into his opponent's midsection. Nice punch, man. Oh, big elbow. will say there's no pad on the elbow. There's no pad on the elbow, and it cuts people. The more you elbow, the more you're gonna see guys being cut. Why everybody that fights Tony Ferguson just are dripping blood at the end of the fights. Going orthodox now. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All collar tie. Oh, how about the volume elbows? Oftentimes we see an elbow and it's one and done. Not the case here. He's so confident with those elbows. He's so good at getting in tight and just throwing a back to back that they do land. Battling for hooks. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee knee and then try to land a big one to the head. And they set him. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach and he made good use of it there. Oh! He might. 
might get a finish here. Strong bottom works here, staying busy. Now it's his mouth. Continues to attack here. We'll see if he can set up the arm bar. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. We have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Nice. Checks the light kick. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Again, he's looking for that left, it's not there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, it's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was gonna be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike and very effective with it. Left hand punch to the clinch. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Nice punch there. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. Man. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different That's attacks. a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. All right, single collar time now. And they separate. Just unable to quite find that range. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, oh big knee there. Combinations here. Oh, big elbow. Oh, big knee. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Another big body kick lands. And both guys really thrown with authority. A right, little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you've got to be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Straight punch land. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, nice elbow. Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. Nice kick. His opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Right hand punches the clinch. He's hurt. Big head kick lands. Good punch lands. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Big kick lands. Back and forth we go. Right punch is good. The left also flush. 
Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Nice loop of punch. Single collar tie now. Left hand punch to the clinch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Caught that kick there. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say. Oh, big moves. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Now connects with a right. 20 seconds left. Oh, single collar tie there. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Beautiful head kick. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights, DC, and there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment. He found the opening and landed that big strike. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight. And we're still evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Beautiful body kick. Head kick lands. Oh, that, I'd probably dislocate my hip. Look at that roundhouse. I mean, he can get that kick off in any direction if you're not careful. If he throws that kick to the body too many times and you start guessing body, he will take it up high and in your night. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, oh. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. One of the most important strikes in the clinch is this big body shot. Big punch land. Ooh. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. And he continues to work the body here. And they separate. Beautiful punch. Oh, big head kick. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really oh, cool man, down. Look at that. Victor perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, 
he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much. Oh, big knee! So again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual fan. Absolutely, and it's gonna be the underhook. For all the things that happen in this position, the person winning and controlling the underhook battle is the one out ahead. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. The takedown defense holds up. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Powerful leg kick land. the end of the round we'll show you some of the highlights it must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that it feels good to knock a man down and most times you don't even feel it it's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed hard are the ones that usually put your opponent out it landed right on the sweet spot and he hurt his opponent very badly All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Here he is back in the clinch. That was good, man. Nice strike. Right, oh, big knee! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Just missed with the left there. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Left hand punch from the clinch. Just misses there with the left. Punch over the top. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Got a single oh, big knee! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, he's... Oh! There are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. 
step for step, he's staying with his opponents in every transition. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Big leg kick land. Visibly limping here. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break him? All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to box. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Reversal here, DC. What a way to switch. Now he'll try to start attacking a rear naked choke from the top position. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Wow. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in half row. Absolutely more offensive options because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hook. But get to your hand stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free flowing than a half guard in the side control because all you need. To oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. <laughs> Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Oh, well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 33 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. Celebration is on and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can still argue that tonight is the crowning achievement of his man.